Cats, as far as survival rates, it depends what's going on with them, obviously with cats. So if you're talking about upper respiratory disorders, if you're talking about laryngeal paralysis or a mass inside the oral pharyngeal area, it's probably going to be cancer, let's be honest, or some, some other degenerative condition if you're talking about laryngeal paralysis, and those do not have good long-term outcomes. If you're talking about a nasopharyngeal polyp, it has an amazing outcome. You just remove the polyp and the cat does great. Um, as far as lower airway disease, if you're talking about things like pneumonia, it's very treatable. Heart failure is very manageable. Pneumothorax is almost always secondary to trauma on cats, and so if you're, you treat the pneumothorax, Almost always the cats are going to do fine. Occasionally we'll rarely get a cat with chronic lung disease that has a secondary pneumo and obviously the chronic lung disease, whatever's causing it, will dictate the outcome. Um, things like pleural effusion, it depends what the cause of the effusion is. So again, we can almost always stabilize them by tapping them. It's just a matter of whether or not their underlying disease is something that has a good outcome. But I would say as far as acute stabilization, we have an excellent chance of acutely stabilizing them and the cat's doing well. Sometimes the long-term outcomes they will vary depending on what the underlying cause is. Um, and you know, heart failure you can manage for a year or more. Um, cancer causing a pleural effusion, maybe they have a lot shorter time than that. So it just kind of depends on what the underlying cause is.